Come on. Come on. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another stream. It's your boy, Dianlo, here coming at you with some more Outward, a new RPG that just came out last month. Um, I'm really excited to play this game. I tried it a couple times just for a little bit. Kind of, kind of know what I'm doing to some point, but it might be a little boring for the first little while because we're gonna explore the town. We're gonna talk to all the shop owners. We're going to um, try to figure out the game as much as we can before we actually start adventuring off into the wild. This is a um, RPG survival life simulator. So, what's up, KGF Gordon? Egg with ten thousand subs. What's up? What's up, Essie Mercantile? How are you guys doing? Iron five dollars from chores. Nice, bro. So, uh, yeah, this is a new RPG. It just came out, like I said, a week ago. Um, brand new on the Epic Game Store. Um, what's up, Jesse O'Hara? Welcome to the stream, my dude. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I got to go pin a comment on the Facebook stream real quick to let everybody know that there is a 15 second delay on the stream. My day is going good, Gordon. How is your day going, bro? Hopefully your day is going great. Dude, this RPG actually, it's got mostly positive reviews on Steam. Um, I'm super stoked about it, man. There we go. Comment is done. Let's go ahead and pin that comment to the Facebook stream. And we are back. Alright, so we're going to go ahead. Game looks good. Dude, it is. Like, I deleted all my other characters, all my other saves. Just because, like, you can create so many characters. So we're going to go Diamo here. We're going to go Mel. Uh, we're going to go Face Style 4. Hairstyle 4, I guess. Hair color, I'm not sure. Um... What do you guys think, white or blonde? Should I go white hair or blonde hair? What do you think? I guess I'll go blonde. Why not? You like my haircut? Thanks, Drennan Potter. I appreciate it, man. And happy birthday to Jesse O'Hara, my brother from another mo mother over in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Big shout out to you, Jesse. Happy birthday, bro. Hope it's a good one. Uh, can't wait to see you guys, as I said earlier. Oh, you show your hands now. Yeah, Drennan. Yes, sir. I got my uh, camera for my keyboard. A lot of cool stuff going on. All right, here we go. Pay close attention to the alerts. They will warn you when you're hungry, your weapon is damaged, etc. Dude, this game is so cool. I mean, go blonde. All right, Jesse. We were, we were thinking the same thing. All my life, I've lived within the safety of Sirizo, spared the brutality of the world outside. But life in RA is never that easy. For all the safety that my tribe provides, our laws are harsh. We are judged not as individuals, but as bloodlines. The failures of my bloodline weigh heavy on me. My grandmother brought ruin to our tribe long ago, bringing a heavy blood price upon my family. We've paid the debt caused by her actions ever since. I'm back, Daddy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who that is. Did you change your name or something? I joined an expedition across the sea with my old friend Zan, hoping the money made there would be enough to clear my debts. This was a mistake. I'm lucky to still be breathing after our ship hit rocks on the return voyage. Hey, what's up, Itchy? Thanks for showing some love over on Facebook and YouTube, my, my dude. I have no choice but to pick myself up yet again and face the wild, untamed land outside the walls. I must carve out my own future or die trying. This is a family-friendly stream, Spoon Me, so just so you know, just so you know, new member hype in the chat, oh my goodness, we got a new member on YouTube, everybody, Egg with 10,000 subs, welcome to the member squad, dude, oh my gosh, thank you for your support, dude. Oh my gosh, new member hype. Let's go. 
I'm not even playing Fortnite, and you guys are freaking still supporting me and still coming in and watching the stream. Thank you guys so much. What's up, quickly? 7W7. Dude, egg with 10,000 subs. Dude, you did not have to do that, but thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the family, dude. Hopefully, you'll be able to play some member games with us later on today, um, if I play Fortnite today. I was thinking about taking a break from Fortnite today and play some other games. All right! All right! Welcome to the party, pal. Uh-oh. Dang it. You can't see the picture. No. Hold on. Let's bring this down to the bottom. Facebook alert. Facebook alerts. Okay. It was Bruce Willis from Die Hard saying, Welcome to the party, pal. Egg with 10,000 subs. Thank you, my dude. All right. Each city has several merchants, either directly outside or inside buildings. They will sell food, equipment, crafting recipes, in addition to other things. You can hang a lantern from your backpacks, providing light while freeing your hands. Simply place a lantern in your backpack inventory, lighting the lantern if it's not lit already. All right, so like I said, this might be pretty boring for the first little bit, um, but I want to be able to play whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? So I think my settings, ship, my settings are good. It's so weird. You start nighttime, daytime, all kinds of different things. Let's see. I don't know if I need to take... See, the torches have health too, so the torches will burn out. You have to replace the torches and all that stuff. Let's gather some gadberries. I've only played this game for like an hour, so I, I still don't really know a whole lot about it. Um, I want to explore the town, explore the city, get to know all the merchants, uh, find out what I can buy, maybe buy a weapon or a shield or something, before we actually adventure off into the wild. What do we got? What do we got? I heard something. Facebook notification. Oh, it didn't pop up. What? I think I moved him to the wrong place. Whoops. Whoever liked the stream on Facebook, thank you. I do appreciate it. Move that right there. Alright, we should be good now. I guess I should have messed with that earlier. Alright. Oh yeah, there's seaweed. Let me grab that seaweed. Oh cool, the sun's actually coming up. So that means it's going to be daytime. So wheat. So there's a health bar, a stamina bar, and a magic bar once you actually unlock magic. So I'm excited to do that because I want to make this guy like a battle mage. Basically a wizard warrior type of person. So you can gather salt water and you can drink salt water. So if you drink salt water, it's going to make you dehydrated. Um, you can gather the salt water and then boil it and make it drinkable. So that's pretty cool. Uh, for fishing, you need a fishing pole or a fish harpoon, which I believe there's a fish harpoon over here. Fishing harpoon. Oh, drink clean water. Sweet. I can't gather any any water because I don't have any water skins. Um, all right. Bandages, let's grab those, let's grab some more Godberries to make Godberry pie. New member hype, guys. Oh my goodness. So I'm not going to go to sleep yet because uh, if I go to sleep, it takes me to town. What you need? 
Diallo, you're alive! You must be freezing. Come, warm up by the fire before you freeze to death. Where are we, Izan? The last thing I remember was our ship hitting a rock. We're not, We're not far, far from, from home. home. You can see the, see the lighthouse from here, can't you? Ito made it out too. He's making his way home to Clerzo to get help. He's a Kazite. He was born on a ship. This probably isn't the first time he's had to survive a shipwreck. Go ahead and sleep in one of the extra bedrolls. On Friday, you're going to D.C. with your social studies club? That is awesome, Gordon. I'm going to 1v1 a popular kid in my school in Fortnite. Oh, cool. Hope you whip him quickly. If you're still feeling too injured from the shipwreck, go ahead and sleep in one of the bedrolls I laid out. I'm not going to go to sleep yet, because once I go to sleep, I'm actually going to wake up inside t the town. I learned that last time I played, so I'm actually going to explore this area first. Well, the ship really... How did... Okay. I don't know how this happened. The ship is actually upside down. That must have been a pretty bad wreck. There's pieces of the ship over there, over there. That's... Looks like a hurricane took him out. Alright, let's go check out the beach. See what we got going on over here. Um, junk pile. Flint and steel. Basic survival tool. He brags that he's so good on Xbox. <laughs> Used to light campfires. It might have other uses, however. Linen cloth, a roll of fabric commonly used in basic crafting recipes such as bandages. Basic cloths can be decrafted using the survival crafting menu into linen. Branches with a variety of uses from making campfires to crafting weapons. And silver, the universal currency of the land. Awesome. Love me some silver. Let's go. Usually Xbox players are super sweats. I think it, I don't think it I don't think it's the system that matters. I think it's just the personality of the person that's playing. Going to beat him on mobile? Oh my gosh, that'd be a big that'd be a big kick in the face, huh? Well, I'm rooting for you quickly. Good luck, man. I do want to explore this before the sun goes down. I think I got some time. I got some time. Do I not have a weapon yet? I guess I'll use the fishing harpoon as a weapon until I find something else. Now, th now there is a stamina bar, so like, if you roll, you lose stamina. If you attack, you lose stamina. So that's something you gotta watch out for. You're gonna screen record? Awesome. I've been wanting to get into this game ever since I got it, guys. So I'm really happy to take a break from Fortnite and play other games. I think I'm going to like this game a lot, so don't be surprised if I play this game a lot. Um, so let's see here. Let's check this stuff out. We got helmet, chest piece, backpack, boots, arrows, offhand, like a shield, or maybe like a fireball, machete, Attack and defense, okay, and then we got basic stats. So here's your food, it tells you if you're hungry or thirsty, if you need sleep. Uh, the t it shows you the temperature outside, so it tells you like what clothes you need to wear. Um, I have no mana yet because I don't have magic yet. Effects, negative and positive effects, like buffs and debuffs. So here's my crafting table, I can actually craft stuff here, like let's say I put, uh, let's see, where's the wood? I can make like a campfire, I think. We'll get into the crafting later. Here's my abilities, my spells and whatnot. And my skills. Um, kick, throw lantern. Throws your equipped lantern on the enemy, creating a zone of fire for five seconds. Dude, that is sick. You can literally throw your lantern and create a fireball. That is cool. Probably not going to use it. Well, actually, I'm going to put it. I'm going to go ahead and. How do I equip it? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. It's not showing me any way to equip it. Find someone who can help. 
rest in one of the campsite bedrolls. So now it's telling me that I'm hungry. So common berry that only offers a small amount of nutrition and will quickly rot unless cooked. As a fruit, these berries restore stamina over time. Yes, we got a new member, Excalibur, dude. T egg with 10,000 subs, dude. Thank you so much. So we're going to go and eat one of these berries real quick. Let's see how much that brought me back here. Okay, so it only adds about 7% nutrition, so yeah, that's not a very good source. But now I have a machete. If you cook the berries on a campfire, they actually last a lot longer, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, last time I played this game, I was kind of worried about, you know, people getting bored from watching and stuff like that, but now I don't really care anymore. Um, I'm going to do me. I'm going to do what I want to do. And, you know, people will support me or not support me either way. I've lost lots of subs in the past for not playing Fortnite. But, guys, I'm a variety gamer. I love gaming, and I want to be able to experience all kinds of different games with you guys. Um, so, yeah, the first hour or two of this game might be a little boring, but that's okay because I'm having a blast. So, that's all, I, that's all that really matters. Let's see. Do I not have a backpack yet? I don't have a backpack. I could have swore I found a backpack somewhere last time I played this. So you can lock onto the enemy. Let's see if I can find him one at a time. Hey! Oh, there's two of them. Oh, this is not good. There's two of them. All right, we're getting the dodge. We're getting the dodge down pretty good. Whew. Come on, restore stamina. I need stamina. Alright, we got one, got one. One down, one down. I know if I get bit too much, I'll contract rabies. Health's getting low, health's getting low. He keeps trading me hits, bro. Ah. Uh. Dang it! Ah! I hate dying at the beginning, bro. I don't want to die at the beginning. I gotta start this game right. I gotta start this game right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I can continue. Delete Dion Low. I'm just going to run through the beginning part real quick. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If I can find them one at a time, it's just that, gosh, they freaking... Your health is just... I don't know. We'll get the hang of it. We'll get the hang of it. So we're going to skip all that. All that blah, blah, blah. I could have swore I found a backpack, though, last time I played this game. Let's see. There's a dead guy. Walk a boil. What's up, ghost? Welcome back to the stream. Hey, Logan McTaggart. What's up, dude? So we're gonna run through this part.
Grab the fishing harpoon. Drink some water. Um, I really want to kill those hyenas, man. I thought I did a good job at the beginning fighting them, but... I gotta figure out the fighting patterns and stuff like that. Because we kept trading hits. If I can figure out... If I can dodge his hit and then hit him instead. See, I woke up in town. I don't want to go to town yet. I want to explore this area. There's ban Oh, there's bandages right there. Dude, I could have used bandages. Silly, silly Dion Lowe. Use campfire. Okay, so look, check this out. Use campfire, right? I think I can... See, I can cook the berries and make them into boiled berries. They provide more nutrition and rot less slowly. There we go. We use the campfire. There's some bread. What you need? What you need? Hey, what's the Sleep in one of the extra bed rolls. All right. Let's go back to the beach line. What's over here? Waka boil. A backpack would be nice early on, but it's okay. I'm sure we'll find one soon. I'm pretty sure dying is like, a, you have to die at some point. Like, obviously you're going to die. Like, I can't just restart the game when I die. But I want to get, because once you sleep in the bedroll, then you go back to town. I don't want to go back to town until I'm ready. At least in the beginning part. Anything that happens after that is just a part of the adventure. But you have the flu, Steven? Oh, no, bro. I hope you feel better, man. Make sure you drink lots of liquids, lots of water, and, you know, whatever. Make sure you stay hydrated. Hey, thanks, Gordon. I love your positivity, man. Gordon's always coming in with a positive attitude and encouraging me, even when I'm doing bad on Fortnite. He still tells me I'm the best. You're the best, man. I appreciate your support. And we're right back where we were, so it's not like I wasted a lot of time. You know what I mean? If I was playing for like an hour and then I restarted, I'd be like, okay, I'm leaving. But this is an RPG game. This is a simulator, a life simulator game. So I want to uh, do what I want to do and play how I want to play, right? I should probably try blocking next time as well. Blocking might be a good idea. All right, let's get my machete. Okay, machete's equipped. Can we put the torch away? Maybe I can move faster? I don't know. Oh, he's by himself. Why can't you- why won't you attack? Oh, dude, attack, bro! He's not attacking, dude. My mouse broken or something? What is going on? Dude, attack, bro. What is going on, man? Now he's not rolling either. Oh my gosh. Yeah, something's going on here. Something's not right. Something's not right. Something's not right. Like, my attacks button's not working. My roll button isn't working as half the time. I don't get it. I don't get it. Raw meat. We got some hide. Let's see if I can use a bandage. Okay, so the bandage doesn't restore health immediately. It kind of makes you, uh, it's like a gain health over time. What's up, Jacob? How you doing, bro? What 
Welcome to the stream, my dude. All right, so my health is still gradually restoring. Let's see. Point five health per second. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, now my buttons want to work. I think that was a glitch or something, man, because it's... Yeah, now everything's working fine. But see how my, my pouch right here, guys? It's overweight because I don't have a backpack. I'm carrying everything in my pocket. So what we're going to do is drop a bunch of stuff right here. Uh, can I craft bandages right now? Oh, I can! I can craft another bandage. Let's go. I can craft a campfire, a bedroll, a torch, a shield. Oh, I can craft a shield? Ah, oh, bro! A club with 16 damage. How much damage does my machete do? 12? Oh, bro. I need wood. I need wood. Let's go get wood. Alright, we're gonna get some wood from this tree real quick. Yes, I know my pouch is overweight. That's why I'm dropping everything right here. Okay. All right, let's go to crafting. Let's go to a quarter staff. Oh, I need linen cloth, and I used all my linen cloth for the bandages. Quarter staff sounds pretty cool. Attack speed 1.2. Attack speed 1.2. Um. Durability 150, impact is 14, impact is 20. So I think the club is actually better than the staff anyway. Um, Alright, let's craft the club. Spikes? Spikes that must be played in a trip... Wow, dude, this game is insane. Spikes that must be placed in a tripwire trap, inflicting low damage to enemies that step on it. What? For reals, we got arrows... A shield. I need a uh, linen cloth for the shield. Travel ration. Okay. Okay. Let's put the club up there. Let's drop the machete. Let's drop the axe. There we go. I'll come back and get all this stuff in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and use another bandage. Make sure my health's nice and full before I fight this uh, hyena again. Let's eat. Let's eat one of the berries. Oh, I have hide. Let's see. Oh, I need linen cloth. Okay. Alright. Let's go fight this other guy. I got my club. My billy club. I'm going to wait until my health goes full real quick. Oh, I can't go swimming. Oh man. Why isn't my health going all the way up? Hmm. Oh well. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, uh, I got a disease. Freaking hyena gave me a disease, bro. What's up? We got hide. We got predator bones. I think that's actually it for this area. I'm pretty sure that's like the only things that I can do here. You see how slow I'm moving now? Because I have all this stuff. I don't have any linen cloth.
What do I not need here? I don't need the extra torch, I guess. Okay. So we're just going to roll back to this dude over here. I'm pretty sure that's like all the exploring that we can do in this area. And I'm out of stamina. Let's let him recharge his stamina, then I should be able to roll over there. the campfire. Um, some berries. Make some more berries. What's up, bro? Go ahead and sleep in one of the extra bed rolls. Alright, let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. You must sleep at least one hour. Okay. Each tree has an unlimited amount of wood that can be gathered. Wood is commonly used in survival crafting, notably to make campfires. You're just laying down watching me? Aw, oh, thanks, Steven. Unconsciousness comes quickly, and you dream of being ensnared in something. With a yelp, you jump out of your bed. Relief floods you as you recognize where you are. You are back in your old bed at home, the lighthouse in Cirazo. Yazan must have brought you back to your family's lighthouse. Only your aching body tells you that the shipwreck you suffered was not a nightmare. You start the game with a few skills, like the kick. You also know several useful survival crafting recipes. Okie doke. What do we got here? Green worker attire. Resistance is 3. Impact resistance is 2. Cold weather defense, durability. So I guess I should use this because it's because it has more resistances. I don't know. I can't even move now because my guy is carrying too much stuff. Worker boots. Yeah, we don't need tattered attire. We can just let that sit there. We don't need it. Um, is that a backpack? You. Okay, so now I have a backpack. Now I can put everything in the backpack. Put my gold in the backpack. Uh, let's put all of our equipment in the backpack as well like the machete uh, the fishing satchel the mining pick equip the thing put the torch down here I just want all my crafting stuff here sweet we're good we are good to go okay there's a stash here dark worker hood ooh I like it sandals I'm gonna take them just to sell them. Alright, is this empty? Alright, the stash is empty, which I'm gonna leave it empty. Now we get to explore the town. We got gadberries. What do we got? Jerky. Okay. Let's check downstairs. An old lantern, okay. I want to put the lantern in my backpack. I guess I'll put it in my satchel, whatever. 
improvised bedroll, iron scraps, flint and steel. Use the kitchen. What? Gadberry tartine. I don't have any Gadberry jam. Meat stew. Travel ration. Hello, Tyler Gaming Ten. What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream, brother. So you can do a manual re recipe and try to build your own ingredients. Wait, where's all the? There, oh, there they are. So the food has health. You see how it says up here in the top right, boiled gadberries, and you can see a little red. That means the food's rotting, and you have to eat it before it rots, or whatever. I'm gonna keep all my food in my pocket. We can keep all the crafting stuff down here. Gadberry jam. Sweet. I think I can make some of this Gadberry stuff now. I just made a Gadberry tartine. Salt. There's probably some salt in the kitchen somewhere, right? Some more bread. So it actually gives me... Oh, cooking! I found a cooking recipe. Teach us how to craft food using a cooking pot. Let's do it. There's no salt in the kitchen. Rainbow trout, seaweed, and salt makes me, um... Ceviche. Ceviche. Okay. Hello, governor. It's me. Hmm. Whoa. Can I not? I can't. How do I? Can I climb a ladder? I've got to be able to climb that, right? No, maybe not. I can't tell if there's anything up there, though. You would think I can climb it, but it doesn't. Doesn't look like it. Mm. Alright guys, let's go explore. This is why I wanted to take everything out of the house. Rise and shine, trog spawn. Do you think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? So apparently I owe money to the tribe. A blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. Yeah, you were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? If you can't make the payments you missed, we will seize your home! What a bunch of jerks. Enough of this! Twelve people are dead. Stop this shameful behavior at once. Yes. To threaten someone like this while the lost lives are still fresh is an insult to their memory. I agree. But, Chamber Lady Aberdeen. I said that is enough! If you want to resume discussions after the morning period, feel free. Oliel, see these people off, would you? You heard, Mother. You heard, Mother. Away with you, or I will personally see to it that you get double shifts of guard duty. Double shifts of guard duty? Oh, no. Don't do it. I'm sorry that was the first thing you woke up to. Please forgive them. Many of them have lost family. If I could do more, I would. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. That gives you a few days to pay back the money. Either gather the... Once you can make the payment, come see me. Please, find a way to make it work.
Have you forgotten why your family bears this blood price? Here's what you need to know. This is unacceptable. That does seem like your most effective option, dangerous as it is. Never forget, no one is an orphan in Cierzo. Do not hesitate to, to ask the rest of the tribe for survival advice. If you can do a great deed for someone in Cierzo, we will owe you a tribal favor. Once you're ready to leave Cierzo, speak with Burak, the gate warden. Okay. Once I'm ready to leave. Okay. Remember, you only have a few days. May your ancestors have five watch days. over you. That's a few plus two, man. Alright. Let's see, what do we want to explore first? Where am I at here? Where is my lighthouse? This is my lighthouse. Okay. Risa Aberdeen? Okay, that's her. This is why I took everything out of the house, because I think at some point they actually seized the home. I'm glad you survived the wreck. Rufus commissioned it for me as a going away present. But with the shipwreck, it wouldn't be right to leave so soon. I have faith in you. You'll pull through. Always strive to be better than today. Always strive to be I'm better than today. I'm glad you survived the Rufus commission. But with the sh I know, Risa has already promised me that she and I will be having a long. I know. I'll miss you and Izan too. But this is the path I choose to walk. Uh huh. Always strive to be better than today. Always strive to be better than today than yesterday. For tomorrow's morrow. On the morrow, tomorrow, it'll be better than tomorrow, today. Alright, let's go explore. We're at the lighthouse. We're gonna explore the crap out of this city. Oh, a quarter staff! What you don't say? That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. I wanna equip it. Oh, yeah. Freaking Donatello over here. Wop, wop, wop. I didn't find that last time I played. Because I didn't look. Alright, so it looks like... I'm going to take the right path first and go up that hill. That takes me to Town Hall. Okay. Can I help you? Mm, I'm fine. Stay safe. You too, brother. You too. A great axe, eh? Let's see. Oh, come on, I'm overweight. Are you for real? Already? Jeez, man. I gotta go find a merchant and sell some stuff real quick. We gotta go sell some stuff. Town Hall. Should I check out Town Hall? Might as well. I'm here. Might as well check it out. Ooh. <laughs> nice.
No, no, no. Alright. Didn't find that last. See, this is the good thing about exploring in RPG games. I love it. Let's put the hat on. Oh, yeah. I like it. Hello. It's me. Check downstairs. I need a town key to go in there. Alright, looks like I'm done with town hall. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. Okay. Yes, I am. Alright, one building has been explored. Now, I'm at the town hall. Let's go over here and check out what this building is right here. So, it should be... Wait a minute. Okay, there's the rocks and mountains. Okay, I can't get past there. So what's this building here? Why can't I go over there? I know I'm overweight. I'm gonna have to sell some stuff soon. Just leave me alone. Who's this? Greetings, friend. Um, what do you want? I may have something for you. Lend me your ear. I'm always interested in curiosities. What have you got? Uh... Lend me your ear. As a matter of fact, I could use a brush explorer for something. Here's what I need. A rare mushroom in the shape of a shield. I hear it grows in Blisterboro Northeast. Okay, so I got a quest. You'll know it if you find it. Sounds like an adventure. Perfect. I'll do it. Make sure you have a good weapon, a lantern, and plenty of supplies. Lend me your ear. Lend me your ear. Okay. I'll see you. See you later. Thanks for the quest. I appreciate it. Looks like I can't go in here. So that was Helen. Okay, that's the building. Okay, so this was Helen. So if that's Helen, then I'm going to go talk to Barack real quick. I'm not ready to leave yet, so. I am not ready to leave yet. If that's Barack then this must be the Sea Salt Inn. Whoa! Hold up! Oh, not like that you aren't. You need at least an equipped weapon. A war if I let you adventure outside of the beast, if you're pressed to find a weapon, make yourself a quarterstaff. I'm also sure you can find a spare water skin by the water purifier on the town beach. Now pay attention to what your body tells you. is on. Let's go up to the uh, water purifier and get a water sack. What are chocobos doing in here? Those look like chocobos. Who's this? Greetings, friend. I don't want to buy something in like Farewell, my friend. I want to sell some Greetings, stuff. friend. Oh, Alright, cool. So here we go. Let's let's sell that. Let's sell the sandals. I want to keep these. I don't really know if I want to use the great axe or not. My quarterstaff. 
does the same amount of damage as the club, right? Hmm. That's all I can sell? Well, I guess I'll go somewhere else and find some... Somebody else that wants to buy my stuff that you don't want to buy. Freaking jerk. Alright, who is that? He's not even on the map. Okay. Everybody was a kung fu fighting. Can't go that way. Can't go in there. Just a regular guard. Hmm. Is there another fishing rod over there? A fishing harpoon. I already have a fishing harpoon, don't I? Yeah, I do. Oh, I can sell it, though. I can sell it. Okay, I think I'm done with this area. Let's see, we got a water sack. Gather water. Alright, my water sack is full. Let me go ahead and drink some while I'm here. Oh, I'm starting to run super slow because I'm getting over overweight. Alright, let's go find a shop. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Did you eat all your mac and cheese? Yeah, I ate four bites. You ate all of it? Yeah, I ate four bites. You better go eat all of it now. I just ate four bites. That's it. I ate four bites. Let me go see. Well, well, well. I wonder if I can save the game. No? That's crazy. 
Sorry if you guys had to hear me yell at my son. My bad. Um, what's up, bro? I wish I could greet you with a smile, but... Well... Uh, how are you... How are you holding up? Yesterday, I was leading our most ambitious expedition in a decade. Now, all that's left is this wreck and a tribe in mourning. The lighthouse wasn't lit at the time we made impact with the rocks, I'm certain. Mm. We lost everyone who was below the deck at the time of the accident. Mm. Unfortunately, yes. What little we could salvage from the wreck has gone to the families of my drowned men. How much? Damn, that's right. You haven't been able to make payments on your blood price while we were gone. You always get the short end of the stick, don't you? The blood price on your head is disgusting. You weren't even born when that tragedy happened. More like find an early grave and lose a leg. Suffering doesn't help anyone. Oh, he has a prosthetic I leg and an arm? We're alive because of our tribal laws or in spite of them. I'm sorry I don't have better news. Best of luck with squaring things with Risa in the short term. Actually, I do have a small stash of goods I hid in case of disaster. I hid it near the old shipwreck to the south. When you open it, remember the moon commands the stars? Remember, you're not just a link in a chain. You're worth more than the blood in your veins. So it's basically another quest, I guess? I don't need another machete. I would take it and sell it, but I can't freaking carry anything. So can I talk to these people? Nope. Nope. Oh, it's getting dark. Hello, who are you? I thought that was a shield or something. I was like, what? Can't talk to you either. So it looks like I'm right here somewhere. Talk to you. Can't go in there. Greetings, friend. What's up, man? Can I sell you some stuff? Sweet. I'm gonna sell you this fishing harpoon. Um. Can I sell you my machete? Why am I so overweight? I'm not even carrying that much stuff. Thanks for buying some stuff off me. What? I don't get it. I just sold uh, this game. Where's my freaking silver at? How many silver do I have? 30. Why can't I sell stuff? Greetings, friend. I don't get it. So I can buy stuff from him and I can sell stuff. Why can't it? Alright, let's... Oh, sell... I see. Okay, okay. Hey, bye. I'm going to eat. I'm going to rest tomorrow. Is there a giveaway? Maybe, Steven. Maybe. There might be a giveaway tomorrow. So after I sell, I have to confirm the transaction. That makes sense. Do I want to keep the failing great axe?
Yeah, we got a new member. Egg with 10,000 subs. Confirm transaction. There we go. I'm figuring it out. We're figuring it out. All right, now I'm barely overweight. There we go. I'm not overweight anymore. Master Chef. Was that the Master Chef? No, that was Fishmonger. He's on the deck over here. Alright, so... Can't talk to you. Oh, what brings you here? How's my brother doing? Yazan's alive. That's more than most of the other people on the expedition can say. Yeah, shame about the shipwreck. Uh, accidents like this happen all the time. Mm. Not a clue. It wasn't me, though, that's for sure. I don't think he wants my help. Oh, this is the worst day I've had in forever. Oh. What brings you? Yeah, shame about not a. I don't think he wants my help. Oh, is that an item oh, over there? This is the worst day I've had in forever. What do we got? A shield. I don't think I, I can't use the shield because this is is this two-handed. So let's see if I can use the uh, the club and the shield. Sweet. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna check underneath the docks first. See what we can find. What's up, new member in the house? Egg with 10,000 subs? What's up, dude? Thank you so much, man. New member hype is always freaking epic. We're gonna go check out that place before I leave. Hmm. On your Fortnite 2 prank, you got 10 dislikes. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's okay. Let's see if I can figure out this town. Who's this? Some trainer person? What can I do for you? I wonder. What can I do for you? Fifty silver? Amber, my friend. You should lock your focus on the target. You can combo light attacks one after another. If you use a heavy strike at different points in your attack combo, you'll have different results. Okay, check the date people before watching the video that says Fortnite 2. <laughs> so you can buy training here. 500 silver, 50 silver. Pretty cool. Amber, my friend. Curious. Okay. Now who is this again? The Odo Kezite trainer? Let's see. So those are the Kazai trainers, so the Master Chef should be right over here. Can I help you? If you deploy a cooking pot over a campfire, or if you have a home with a proper kitchen, you'll be able to cook recipes with more than one ingredient. Can I help you? What? Nope, you didn't, eat, you didn't eat all your mac and cheese. I want to buy something, not really. I want to sell something. I don't really want to sell any of my food supplies or my 
items. Okay, I guess that's done. Alright, so I talked to these two. Now let's go talk to everybody else. Wait, what's all this? Can I get a torch? Making makeshift leather armor? What? Leather boots? Leather hat? Oh, yeah! Just learned all kinds of stuff. Let's see. Makeshift leather. leather. Ooh! Makeshift leather armor. I need basic armor? Dang it. I need basic boots. So I can make a leather hat. I'm not going to do that yet, though. See, that's, that's the good thing that, about exploring early on and trying to figure out what's going on. I just found recipes. I'm finding items. I found a shield. Who should I go talk to next? Who's this? Shopkeeper Doran. Okay, there's Shopkeeper Doran right there. Is there something you need? Can you help with this? Excellent. He gave me a quest. Thank you for your aid. Is there something you need? Whenever you need to, you can craft a great variety of items to aid. Not only that, you can also disassemble many items. Using what your environment provides you is the key to survival. Okay. Oh, this dude's got all kinds of stuff. Alright, thanks shopkeeper door. Now where do I go? Loud hammer it's north. Blessings of a lat upon you. What can I do for you? Here's what I need. What? What can I do for you? All right. What can I do for you? It 
depends if you favor power or utility. All right. Talk to the alchemist. Hey there. Mana is energy that flows through everything. Mana. Magic is something that requires patience to master. Cool. To unlock the power of mana, you must travel to a ley line, a place where Ori's life flows strong. Okay. The Holy Mission and the Kingdom of Levant have their own paths into the Conflux Mountain as well. All right, looks like I just got one more stop to the south, southwest. All right, how do I get inside the sea salt in? This is shopkeeper Doran. Here, that means the inn is over here. West. It's a little hard to find your way around this place. Hey, the lighthouse is working. I can't see a darn thing. No, not because of the glasses. Oh, sweet. <laughs> now I can quit wasting my torch. Wow, that makes a huge difference. Holy cow. No, get your torch away. Club. Where's my shield? Now I might be able to find, actually find some stuff. Well, what's this? Pitchfork. Sixteen damage. Attack speed. Okay, here we go. I found it. All right, what do we got in here? Bunch of nothing. Okay. Let's go talk to the shopkeeper. What is it? Whoa, what's wrong with you? have been talking what is it whatever right forget See you. you forget you then <sighs> I 
Am I ready to go? Need something? Waiting on some scouts to come back from reconnaissance. My warriors and I are the last line of defense for Serzo. Mm -hmm. Need something? Be mindful of the weather and climate you travel in. Need something? Well, you got the essentials at least. Here. I'll teach you a skill. I'll teach you a skill. So wheat. I think I want to learn one from a different weapon. Give me one minute. Oh, sweet. The skill depends on the weapon I'm using. We got the great axe, which is the strongest weapon I have. Yeah, let's do the quarter staff. It's a two-handed weapon. Mm. Is the great axe two-handed as well? Yeah. All right, let's do let's do quarter staff. See what skill he teaches me with the quarter staff. Need something? Need something? Well, you got the essentials at least. There you go. Mastering skills is the key to survival in the wild. Sick. All right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls. Use the door when you want to head out. Oh, I gotta get my new skill. Moon swipe, eh? Sick. Let's throw a lantern. Let's make that like or something. Dagger slash. I need a pistol for that one. Kick. Am I overweight again? Oh. Why? Looks like I'm hungry and thirsty. This game, man, I'm telling you. Okay, I can drop my... I can drop my backpack when I want to run. I guess we're going outside. I guess we're going outside. I think dying is like a part of the game. Like you have to die at some point. Oh. Yo, where you going? 
skateboarding? Yeah, you want to go skateboarding sometime? Yeah. Cool. Well, I got skateboarding in the car. All right, so this is where I'm at, right? Yep. Traveling, traveling. What? Oh, that's sick. <laughs> yeah. Let's look at my quests. Let's see. Do I have a quest log? I have more quests than that. I have more quests than that. Come on. Alright, so we're going to go explore. I don't want any more stinking berries. You got too many berries. I need a better pouch and a better backpack is what I need. I need a better backpack. Ooh. So I went right, and then I went right again. So I'm coming like... I think I'm just going to drop some weapons. Supply cache. Arrows, tripwire trap, spikes. Nice. I'm gonna go back to town real quick and do it. Hey, turn that off. So I want to see if I go to back to town and drop items at the front of the door, if I can actually, if they'll actually stay there. Like if I can just drop items somewhere and use that as like a storage place, I don't know. We're going to go find out though. I'm pretty sure after you die, you get summoned by like this weird creature and you can, you can get a power up. He gives you a better backpack, or maybe a better weapon, or a better shield, or something, but... I want to test this theory that I have. Let my stamina recharge real quick. I have arrows now, that's cool.
definitely need a better backpack, though. Oh, cool. The items do stay. All right, cool. So we're, this is what we're going to do. We're going to drop the shield. Drop the axe. Drop the club. Drop the pitchfork. I'm going to keep the fishing and mining materials. Um, let's see what we got. 17. Alright, now we're not overweight anymore. Now we can actually run and carry stuff. Let's go. Let's go. And we're back. He runs so much faster when he's not overweight. I'm gonna go this way because it's the closest road to the city, so I'm guessing this might be the way we're supposed to go. I don't know. It's an open world. Huge open world, dude. Like, what? over here. Holy smokes! That's what's up. I love games like this, man. Just explore. Starfish. Whoa. Oh, I'm not going in there. No, sir. Not yet. Oh, look, I can fish. Yeah. Wait, I found worker boots? <laughs> How do I find worker boots? What's up, Icy Wolf? How you doing, man? Oh, God, what is that? Oh! Oh, jeez. No, no, no. I don't want to fight you. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Can I dodge his thunder? Can I dodge the thunder? Yeah, I can. Okay. Oh, he's strong. Oh, he's strong. Yes, sir. He's strong. Run, Forrest! Yeah, we don't want to fight that guy yet. He just wrecked me, bro. I'm too weak. I'm too weak. Gather salt water? No, I don't want salt water. Hey, what are you doing? I can't. I can't move. A pistol shrimp got me. I can feel it working. Oh, thank Thanks a bunch. Oh, it's you, Diablo. Thank you a million times. Thank you. I seriously owe you one. I'll talk to Aunt Risa and make sure you get a full travel favor for this. Oh. <sighs> 
don't think I'm fit to run oh, back no. to them just yet. Thank you, though, for the travel favor. I appreciate it. Alright, so is this... Are these... Are these gonna attack me? Well, you want some? Come on, get some. Get some. No, come back. I want to loot your body and find out what you have. Ah, oh, you jerk. Ah, oh, you butthead, you got away. Do I have any bandages? I don't have any bandages. Dang it. No! Ugh. No! 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 Ow! Just dang it! Oof! Dude, I need bandages. Like, hardcore. Is dude still chasing me? Oh my gosh. Starfish Cave, let's go. Many places are very dark, requiring lanterns or torches to light your way. Such objects burn out over time. Okay. Alright, cool. Maybe I can craft some... Bandages? Nah, dang it. I'm just trying to postpone my inevitable death, because I'm going to die at some point. Uh... Wait. Seaweed? Seaweed effects. Confusion? I'm confused, apparently. This is called Starfish Cave. Pretty cool. Oh, can I sleep in my bedroll? <gasps> oh, maybe I can sleep in my bedroll. Ah, uh, cannot be placed in here. Dang it. I think if I sleep, it'll recover my health. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. There's the bedroll. Let's see. Can we sleep? Use. Alright, my health is pretty low. Let's see if it raises my health at all if I sleep for... I don't know. Let's take a couple hour nap. See if it uh, actually gives me some health here, real quick. Oh, great. I was ambushed. Dude, you suck. I got health, though. Oh, I hate you, bro. I was ambushed during my sleep. That's... That's lame. I still haven't died yet, though. I still haven't died yet. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. This map is so huge, bro. Like, holy smokes. Yeah, what's up? I got away. Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure dying is a part of the game. I have to die at some point in order to continue.
More fish. I'm just exploring the coastline, guys. Just a stroll on the beach. This beach line is just this part of the map here. This whole area that I've been exploring is just this one small part. And this is huge. And this is just one section. Like, I can go over to the hollowed marsh. The, this is crazy. This game is fire, bro. I've been waiting for an RPG like this, man. This game is so good. And I've just started. I haven't even died yet. So when you die, it'll be like, you were found unconscious, bleeding out. You were brought back to camp by this wanderer stranger, and then blah, blah, blah. It's kind of cool. Kind of lame, I was ambushed, though, and lost half my health. Oh god, not not those things again. Leave me alone. I'm not strong enough to fight you. Alright, looks like I've reached the end of the coast. Oh no. Oh no. Let me look. Oh sweet. So now I'm coming back, so I'm here, coming back this way. Okay. That's the town I started in right there. It doesn't show where you are on the map, it's complete survival. It's a survival um, simulator, basically. RPG style, magic, sword, shields, enemies, open world environment, active combat, food, water, poisons, Diseases, sleep, pretty cool. And I'm just basically exploring the world, um, trying to survive as long as I can without dying. I think I need to go back to town though. You can gather wood from the trees. You got crafting, you can craft all kinds of different stuff, this is all I know right now. Um, you get mana after you unlock magic, which I don't have yet. I have no negative effects on me yet. My skills. So I'm using a quarter staff right now, and this is my one of my abilities there, it's pretty sweet. Come here. Come here. Are you going to run away? Okay. Well, good, because I'm almost dead. Wait, am I bleeding out? Pain. Okay. I'm not bleeding out. I'm just in pain. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm about to die for the first time, so that's probably a good thing. I need to die at some point. Alright, I found something! I found something! My exploring is not in vain. Pressure plate trap. Device that must be armed with a compatible item then triggered by an enemy. Cool. Tripwire trap and iron scraps. Let's do it. Open hollow trunk. Ooh, another quarter staff. I'll 
I'll sell that back at camp. Be a little narrow. What? Three bird eggs. What? I'm gonna have some mad bro. Oh, Jeez, I almost freaking died. Go back. I think I'm gonna go ahead and die at some point on purpose to get back to town. And not only that, but either the first time you die or the second time you die, I can't remember, but you get brought back by this like god looking dude. He's like a weird creature. And he get he lets you choose an upgrade, whether you want an upgraded backpack or an upgrade on your weapon or something. So I definitely want to do that as well. I don't have any bandages. I don't have any. And I can't I can't craft any because I need linen. I would love to use a bandage. Uh Kali L Malaudi, this is my first this is the uh, most I've played this game so far. This is the farthest I've been so far, and I really just started. I haven't died yet, um, which I'm probably going to on purpose. I just want to get back to the... Uh... There's the lighthouse. Okay. So do I get to keep my house now that I did a good deed for that dude at the beach? I found a dude at the beach and I gave him my potion. So I'm wondering if, if I get to keep my lighthouse now. There's a cave. Dude, this game is crazy, bro. This game is so crazy, bro. I don't even know where I don't even know where to start. I'm really digging this game though. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm actually going to try to survive and talk to the lady in town real quick. I want to see if I get to keep my lighthouse. We got some eggs. Large egg carries a chance of disease when eaten raw. Oh my gosh, salmonella. Eggs provide both health and stamina recovery over time. That's cool. Sweet. I'm back to town. I made it back. I actually learned two new recipes. I got like 50 silver from the death scenario. Oh, cool. Yeah, see it? I haven't died yet, but I definitely plan on it. <laughs> it's sometimes not so bad. So, uh, you like this game, Khalid? You enjoying it? I'm loving it, dude. I can't wait to like get more involved in it and play it more and stuff. I made it back to town on my first exploration adventure. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, dude. I am digging it, man. It's like it's like Skyrim meets Dark Souls meets freaking World of Warcraft meets freaking It's like a bunch of my favorite games rolled into one, which is epic. I'm really digging it. There's a bunch of items I dropped. Alright, let's go talk to the lady at Town Hall. So I'm right here, so I need to go east. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I've already talked to everybody in town. I got a quest from her, and I got a quest from that other guy over there. 
that I gotta figure out how to do at some point. I barely survived that bird attack. Oh, come on. Come on, really? So, do you, do you have your lighthouse, Cubby? Do you get to keep your lighthouse? Or did you have to lose it first and then get it back? The, let's see. I did a good deed. I did a good deed. Greetings. How go your efforts? You have a way to make that payment. I earned a travel Show favor. Me. And on time, too. Yes. I'm impressed. Well done. Sierzo thanks you for your great deed. Oliel and Izan are leaving Sierzo. Dude, I get to keep Oliel my house? Oliel is leaving to go join the holy mission of Elat. As will we all. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. <sighs> Roland fell asleep on duty. It's Roland's fault. It took me like two days to pay it back, all from selling stuff within the city. I didn't even go out. Oh, cool. So what I did, Khalid, is uh, it was just lucky. I When I went exploring for my first time, I went to the right path and I went to the beach. I found somebody on the beach that was dying, and I gave him my potion, and it gave me the tribal um, whatever, and then now it looks like I just get to keep my lighthouse now, which is super cool. Um, this is unacceptable. Roland accepts the consequences of his action. Yazan refuses. He has chosen to exile himself from Sierzo forever rather than to do his duty to the tribe and bear the blood. What? This is the way things have to be. Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. Okay. So you just lost 150 silvers? Dang, dude. No! Did I just drop my backpack? Whew. Oh my gosh. I'm so used to E. I should switch that. I should switch my interact to E, because E's interact on Fortnite. Wait, so I can go to my house now? Is Yazan over here? And... LVL and Yazan, okay. Wait, why do I gotta talk to Roland? Oh, okay, Look, let's go see what he has to say about the... Uh... The blood price. Money is hard to come by in this game. I believe it. I get to keep my house. Yay. I'm gonna go to sleep. I go to sleep. Let's see, I wanna sleep until I don't wanna sleep that long. All right, we'll go talk to the people first. We'll go talk to those people first before I sleep. Sounds like a good idea. Go to the kitchen real quick, see if I got any new foods I can cook. No, 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 no. Okay. That makes it easy. Dude, we should play together sometime, Khalid. You can, uh, we can invite friends to play and everything. I can, you can even start a new game with the characters that you already play with. Like, if, like I can stop right now, save the game or whatever, and I can actually start a game with you with this character. Like, this game is freaking... This game is awesome. I'm really digging the quarterstaff, too. Hayula! Okay, can't wait until I unlock the magic. Do you have magic yet on this game, Khalid? I don't, obviously. Right, I'm gonna go talk to Roland's punk booty first. 
How could you, Roland? How could you forget to turn on the lighthouse? You cost the lives of so many people. Yeah, co-op is correctly done. Oh, man, I'm, I'm so excited to try it. No magic yet? What's up, Loopy? Welcome to the stream, brother. How you doing, man? This is awful. It was my fault the boat got wrecked. It's my fault Yazan's got a blood price to pay. It's my fault your investment went belly up because I was a careless idiot. I don't even know how Risa found out. It's like she has some kind of sixth sense. Uh, at least you deserve your blood price. Oh no. I'm oh, bad no. At everything. oh no. Oh no. I don't have the patience finish. I'm not good with steel. Bah. I might just throw myself at the outside world and try to make it there. That's the spirit. Make it work or die trying. Hmm. Maybe I should beg ATO to teach me some of his personal combat skills. I don't want to be torn to pieces by hyenas or troglodytes. Yeah, those troglodytes are freaking... They don't mess around. I'm doing good, Loopy. I'm doing good, man. Moving into my new house next week. Playing a new game that I'm totally in love with. I'm freaking loving this game, man. Um, it's having a great time. Alright. Let's go talk to... Oliel, wherever she is. There she is. Hey, lady. I guess this is goodbye. I'm leaving this place to join the holy She's mission. Jo hey, 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 Itchy, welcome back, my dude. Did something happen? You're scowling. Mother and I had a talk. Okay. Risa has done some things I can't agree with. All right, listen. It's unlikely we will meet again, Dionlo, unless, of course, you want to join me. Having someone I trust by my side would make... What? I'll think about it. Now we're talking. I'll think about it. The holy mission is about more than just working under a manifested god. Have discipline and mastery over yourself. Help those who are in need. Have discipline and mastery. And third, always seek to improve yourself so you can better help others to improve and help one another. Wow, this chick's on it. Hmm. I like this chick. In fact, if you join the holy mission and give up your bloodline, you'd be free from ever making payments on your blood price as well. It's the ideal clean slate. If you do want to join us, meet me in Monsoon. I can join. Marsh. I can join the holy army. Let's do it. I'm doing that when I get a chance. Um, I can meet at the Hollow Marsh. That's way later. That's way later. I'm going to do so much exploring before then. Once in the marsh, follow the Pilgrim Road. Oh, she's gone. Sweet. Rufus. Blessings of a lat upon you. Can you heal me? If you're a healer, can you heal me? Whatever. Well, not only the church on ease is full of animals. Yeah, some healer you are. Food. My health is low. I'm about to die. Blessings, blessings of a lat upon you. Yeah, whatever, dude. You're fake. You're fake. Oh, I'm thirsty. Let me drink some water. Glug, 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 glug. Yes, on. I take it you've heard the news? Come to see your old pal off? Yes, sir. I've got one little fishing barge to my name, and by a lad, I'm gonna use it. I'm leaving for the heroic kingdom of Levant, never to darken the stain of a city ever again. The heroic kingdom believes in chasing progress to create a better world. Okay. All right, listen up. It's a place where you can do what you were meant to do without having to answer to oppressive tribal laws and the mid -de misdeeds of your ancestors. You're, you succeed or fall on your own merits. No one else's. Good choice. Go chase your dreams. That I will. I will chase the Levantine dream and make it my own. dream and make it my own. Okay. I take it you're not going to forgive your brother. How do you plan on making it to Levant? The sea can only take you so close. I mean, isn't... Let's see. Not in a thousand years. Oh, he's mad at his brother. Not in a thousand years. He had one job, to keep the lighthouse lit, and he couldn't even manage that. This was preventable. Dang it. Well, that's just wonderful. 
This is the last time I let his foolishness and clumsiness hurt me. He can go feed a hyena with his own hide for all I care. I'm done with him, now and forever. Can I come along? I'd take you if I could, but you can't swim. I can't I swim? Small, you'd be nothing but a liability. What do you mean I can't swim? If you plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot, be prepared for a long, long journey. Dude, this map is if huge, If you have the courage bro. to face the Abrasar Desert, I'll be waiting for you. Oh, now he's gone too. Oh no, my friends are gone. All oh, my friends. And of course I'm hungry now. Let's eat one of these berries. Boiled gad berries. Levant is mind blowing from the inside. Oh, really? That's sweet, dude. All right, now it's about to be nighttime. Now I can go sleep. No, I still gotta go talk to. I gotta talk to Risa again at the town hall real quick, and then I can go to sleep. I wonder if I should just go die real quick on purpose. No, that'd be silly. I'll die when I die. I want to go down there into the cave and fight. Fight some baddies. So you've already been to Levant, Khalid? That's crazy. There you are. Urgent news just came in. Uh, what happened? This is troubling. I'm going to Berg, the main settlement Home in the Emmercar Forest. all the tribes. First place of our Blue Chamber Collective. If you are able, I'd like you to meet me there. I have an offer. I didn't want to spring this on you, but I will but pay I have off an the offer. rest of your blood price and adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline. My blood price is still worth thousands of silvers. Where is this coming from? It's... complicated. With Oliol abandoning the family, I need someone that I can rely on. Someone I can think of as close to family, and I want to make sure you never have a face a mob like that again. The blue I feel like this chick is evil. Is about coming together as a family. That's the most anyone did on 1% health. <laughs> it's far off beyond the desert. You remember what the Blue Chamber Collective stands for? Only by sharing our burdens as family can we hope to survive in our eye. We are all bound together no matter our origins or our chosen path. Well then... We all give up a little of what we want, making sure that everyone has what they need to survive. It's your choice. I won't force you, but my offer is open. Work with me and I will adopt you into the Aberdeen family and clear your blood I have a choice. Your life is in your hands. You will need to prepare travel rations. If you want to make the journey to another region, if you travel between regions without enough rations, you will starve before you arrive at your destination. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, she's gonna Listen give me some. Well, she's shady. Okay. So do you have do you have to pick one of the three? Like, can do you have to join her, or maybe Oiliel, or maybe because Yazan? I'm thinking you have to make a choice to join one of the three. And if I do have to make a choice, I'm gonna go. Uh, Join the Holy Crusade p person. Well, not the Holy Crusade, but the Holy whatever. If you wish to commit to the protection of the Blue Chamber Collective, meet me there. Okay, three choices. Okay, okay. That makes sense. That's actually really cool. This game just keeps getting better and better, dude. It's insane. Alright, I'm going to go to sleep, and then I'm going to go try to fight down there in the caves, right there. I'm going to fight until my death. Because I really want to get the upgraded backpack. Um, I guess I can put my worker boots in there, my hat. I have an extra quarter staff.
Let's put all this trap stuff in there, because it's probably holding me down a lot of weight. We got salmon, we've got meat. Oh, my meat's about to freaking be expired. Yeah, my meat's going to expire. That's not good. Okay. I don't think I need any of this right now. So I should be able to keep this lighthouse forever, right? Do you know, Khalid? I, I mean, this lighthouse should be mine now, right? Like, I shouldn't have to worry about, like, anything bad happening. Let's get a good eight hours of sleep. A full night's rest. Yes. Yes. Having that storage box is, in the kitchen is going to be huge. If I'm ever in town anyway. Yay, full health and full stamina. Let me pause the game real quick. I'll be right back. Give me like 30 seconds. Just going to grab a Mountain Dew real quick. I'll be right back. All right. All right, let's do it. Back for more exploration. So now I can store more stuff in here without having to worry about it. So let's store like um, all this extra like crafting stuff that I don't really need right now. I'll come back and get it later if I need it. That should give me a little bit of inventory space. Alright, let's go check out the caves. Sleep. Cold weather defense plus 5. Stamina cost negative 20% for 20 for 2,000 seconds? What's that? Half, what is that? Like a half an hour or something? No, it's... Yeah, that's like half an hour, dude. 60 seconds times 30, because there's 60 seconds in a minute. That'd be like, what, 1,800 seconds? So yeah, it's like 30, 40 minutes. 45 minutes or something like that. Oops, wrong way. If you upgrade your backpack, keep the old one so you have somewhere to stash the extra stuff if you are far. Wait, wait. Do you do you put the the old backpack inside the new backpack and carry it like that? Does that work like that? Yeah, I'll take any tips and tricks, man, because I'm still learning this game, obviously. I really should probably you know, learn how to use the traps, because I'm sure those are going to come in handy. You can craft many useful items with just your hands. Okay. You drop the old one, then put stuff in it. Oh, because this game, whenever you drop something, kind of like all those items I had at the front of the town. So when I drop something in this game, it stays there forever, basically. That's really cool. Like, that's another really cool thing about this game. Like, you can just drop stuff and then come back and get it later. That's amazing. Oh, I haven't been down here yet. 
Improvised bedroll. Don't I already have one of those? Yeah. I have one of those already. I'll take the bread. Dude, that's crazy, Khalid. This game is so sick, bro. Oh, man. Old lantern. Do I need another old lantern? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop it. Hey, I found a cooking recipe! Yay! Let's go ahead and drop this old lantern. Junk pile. A hatchet? Padded armor? Dope! Let's see, what am I wearing right now? Oh, this padded armor is so much better. Holy cow. Nice upgrade. Alright. We're gonna try this place out. I already have a mining pickaxe. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna need a if I put my lantern in my backpack, doesn't it doesn't it shine? I thought I can use the lantern on my back. Hold on. Yeah, I thought I can like put a lantern on my back. Oh god, I can't see anything, dude. Oh, I need an upgraded backpack. Dang it. Maybe I should die. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh geez, what in God's green earth is this? No! Ooh. Hold on, bro. Oh, there's two of them now. Do these guys hurt? I wonder how bad these guys hurt. Oh gosh. What's up, V Dribbles? Welcome to the stream, dude. I'm back. You did some birthday shopping in Denver? What? Sick, bro. Oh gosh, here they come. Here they come. Ow. Oh. Shall fight to the death. Take that! Oh yeah, what's up? What are those mushrooms for? How much does this trident... 16 damage, impact is 14, it's the same, it's pretty much the same. Hmm. Nice haircut, thanks Speed Dribbles, I appreciate that man. Yeah, there's a lot of fleeing in this game. <laughs> Eat the meat! No, it's... The meat was raw. Oh no.
Oh, my health is recovering. No, it's not. I didn't mean to eat the raw meat. Let's see. Is my disease gone? Disease indigestion. Oh, well, I guess it didn't hurt me too bad. I guess that's not too bad. Alright, let's go back in here and uh, check it out some more. There's a button to lock onto the enemy. Yeah, that's right. I've got it set up on my mouse button down here. I forgot to use it. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way, I guess. Okay, so that was just basically a circle. Okay, cool. What's over here? Get me some green mushrooms. That's it? That's this. That's it. Danger! Going forward will strand you in the wilderness until you make your way back to the village. Wait, I, I, why can't I just come back through that? I guess there's no reason to go out that way. Actually, oh, because I can't climb up. Really, you can't climb up this wall. Like really. Like, really, really? That way goes to the dying man on the beach. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I remember seeing that door. Okay. At least I know where I'm at. Cool. More exploration done. Check. Check, check. I'm not too far from town, so I should be okay. Loving this game, bro. <laughs> Loving it. Ooh. A machete. Potion. Cool. Concentrate. Concoction that temporarily increases your physical damage. Nice. Nice. Oh my gosh, my bag's overweight again. Like, come on, dude. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Now my pouch is overweight. Anything else about the bee rotten? Let's see. Eggs. I guess I'll eat some of these. Forget it. Hey, James Hoffman, welcome back to the stream, bro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't want to fight you guys right now. Thank you, how was my day? My day's been good, dude. Thank you for asking, how's your day been? Playing this freaking amazing game, having a lot of fun. Still haven't died yet. I... You get benefits when you die in this game, it's kind of cool. Oh, now I can go pick up all this stuff and sell it. That's a good idea. Get some more silver for my pockets. You're just breathing badly? I'm sorry, bro. Hopefully your breathing gets better. Ah, I can't move. Okay. Um, 
just dropped the great axe. Can I move now? No. Dang it. Okay. I only drop stuff that I'm not going to sell. There's a very dark chalk light cave where you can easily get lost. I had to take like 30 woods and then drop a piece of wood in every entrance junction. Wow, that's smart though. That's a smart idea, bro. Alright. What am I even going to sell? Like, seriously. I need a better freaking backpack, dude. I seriously need a better backpack. Primitive satchel. Mm, mm, mm. Whatever. <sighs> Drop the axe. Drop the pitchfork. Drop the club, drop the shield. I guess I'll drop the harpoon because I'm not going to go fishing anytime right now. Do I have, am I good on water? Okay, I'm good on water. I guess we're just going to go explore some more. I don't know. Any tips on being less toxic? Uh, what do you mean, man? What do you mean? Oh, you guys are still here? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, wow, they're actually wrecking me right now. What you want? What you want? Oh. Oh, I kicked him. <laughs> uh oh, my button's not working. For some reason, I can't attack. I don't know why. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, no stamina. No. No freaking wonder. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, out of stamina. Thanks, man. Took me a minute to realize it. Yeah, get some. Eat that meat. Eat that meat, boy. Oh, I threw it up. Oh, I'm because my disease. I couldn't. Dang it, that sucks. Right, let's try to eat. Let's try to eat another one. Dang it! I threw it up again. That sucks. Yeah, stop cursing and being aggressive. Yeah, that's a good, some good tips there. Is this for yourself, James, or for someone that you're... <sighs> you know what? I think I'm just going to keep fighting until I die. I've got to die at some point, right? Like, there's no way I'm going to go through the whole game without dying. Might as well. Might as well get it over with. There we go. Your body has needs. Eat food, drink water, and sleep in a tent. 
You raise your arms, shielding your vulnerable throat from the animals that howl at you, and brace yourself for death. Fangs seeping sink into your leg, and you feel yourself dragged across the ground. Every rock and bump causes jolts of pain that knock you into darkness. When you finally come to an, and open your eyes, you see the half-eaten leg of some poor explorer inches from your face. Hyenas howl nearby, hungry flesh. Clearly, dinner has been served. <laughs> Oh no, where'd they take me? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, linen cloth? Sweet! Maybe I can actually craft some bandages now, or something else. What, did I, what else do I need for linen cloth? I can make some arrows. Hide linen cloth for the torch. Okay. Primitive satchel. I already have one of those. I need two linen cloths for a bandage. Okay. That's cool. What? Oh, jeez. Oh, you scared me, bro. You scared me, bro. My, <laughs> you freaking jerks. I wanted to freaking explore that place, man. You can't stand anymore. The very act of breathing has become difficult. Pain racks your body as your consciousness fades. You awaken to the side of a huntress, pouring water into your mouth. Leaning on her, you manage to hobble back to Cerezo, more dead than alive. She refuses payment. Okay. Oh, I was about to be so mad, dude. I couldn't find my backpack. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's keep your money in your pocket. I don't want to lose my, uh, my silver. Alright, let's go die again. This is fun. <laughs> I want to start working on a video game. Like building one? Or making one? That'd be crazy, bro. Alright, I'm going to die one more time. And then see what we, uh, what we get for the third time. What's up, bird? <laughs> you should die to bandits. Is that better? Oh, it's the same. It's the same thing. Oh, my boiled gadberries are rotten. Oh, no. Oh, so much for my boiled gadberries. All right, I'll go die to bandits. You like to program, dude? That'd that'd be awesome to build a video game, dude. I would love to help create a video game. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, let's go see if I can find some bandits. I want to get. I'm just trying to die so I can get to that guy that actually gives me like stuff. The backpack. I want that extra backpack. I'm pretty sure there's some bandits up here. Southeast Conflux Mountain. Hey, brother, what are you doing out here? 
Want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? Oh, that no stamina. Oh, jeez. What's up? What's up? Dude, what's this game about? It's um, it's a, it's an RPG survival um simulator. You force your eyes open and find yourself in a cart with prisoners and corpses bouncing along the road. A corpse hanging from a gibbet passes your vision as unconscious takes you. You know what? You have been taken prisoner by them. What? What? Oh, dude. Dang it. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. Where's my stuff, bro? Dude, all my gold. Oh, dude, I'm about to be so mad. I'm about to start over. I will start this game over, dude. Why did I go dying for? Why did who let who who talked me into this? Dude, this is garbage, bro. Seriously, this I'm I'm actually angry right now. They have it here. Well, do I have to get it before I die or do I lose it all? What's going on? I'm about to be super angry though. I'm about to be angry. Oh my goodness. If I lost it, I'm starting over, dude, for real. I don't even care. Oh, there's wizards. That guy looks scary. Oh, that's the boss. Nice. See, my, see, I haven't done this yet when I died. I remember going to like a god or something and he gave me a backpack. Like that's what I was trying to do. I, if I would have known this, I wouldn't have died so much. I feel like I'm looking everywhere. Is that it right there? Mm -hmm. 
two power coils. Dude, alright, this game's starting to make me mad. <laughs> it was a great game until this happened. Hmm. Oh, cool. Let me guess. I was picked up by bandits and brought to their camp. Oh, what do you know? Finally. No, my silver's gone. Alright, well, I'm done with this game for now. I'm going to play some Fortnite or something. Um, yeah, because I'm going to play this off stream for a little bit and see if I can figure some more stuff out. I just lost like 70 silver. That was a trip. I just lost all my silver. That's lame. Hey, this this is a fun game though, Khalid. I'm excited to continue to play it and check it out and, and whatnot. But that was a little disappointing because when I first tried this game, I died a couple times just, you know, out there exploring. And like I said, I was brought to some kind of deity who gave me like power ups. That's what I was trying to do was get to that point. But Hey, I appreciate you hanging out and uh, helping me out with the game, dude. Awesome. Now I know a little bit more about it. Subnautica? I actually do have that game, James. I have that game. But I haven't played it yet. So, that game seems cool, too. We'll see. We'll see. I might play this some more. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, I'll be back on live again probably later on tonight. You think that scenario is rare? Oh, nice. Yeah, I said I needed power coils to open the door where they had my stuff. But yeah, you'll see more of me. Uh, hopefully you subscribe and maybe turn on notifications. And I do stream every day. Um, pretty much every day. Unless I'm busy with something. But I will catch you guys later and I'll be back on um, another time. So thank you all for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next stream. I appreciate every single one of you. And don't forget, keep gaming forward. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks again, guys.